So, before we get into this awesome video, smash that like button, and to never miss a video again, be sure to subscribe. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the Black Ops 3 beta on the Xbox One. Pretty sick game, I've played it like this morning, and well, I'm loving it already. I found my favourite gun on the beta, it's BRM. An automatic light machine gun, pretty insane. Still trying to get my way around the maps because when you're watching this, it's actually only the second day of the beta, and I couldn't play for the first day because I didn't download it because it was taking ages. And also, I believe there was a problem downloading it, they'd messed up or something. Now, another Hostile good point with Black above. Ops 3, especially on this beta, is Demolition is back. Everyone missed it, I don't know why they got rid of it, it was a pretty stupid decision. But it's a pretty cool game mode, so I've been playing that mode of this beta. I'm also really liking the new feature where you get like a power up in the bottom right hand corner. My one is some sort of explosive crossbow thing, it's pretty insane. Um, I don't really know how you power up quickly, I think it might be just time, so you get a extra power up thing, you pick that I think at the start, and then you can use it whilst you're in the game, and you get nice kills with it, my one's crossbow like I said, and it's explosive bolt. The exosuits have changed quite a lot, so you can't really double tap to get a double boost jump, it's now more tap once a normal jump and hold for a like hover jump kind of thing. And you can't boost forward, like jump and boost anymore. And now they've built parts of the map where you can jump off the side and run round the back of the map because you can run on the wall like this. Another point with this game is your guns level up. Um, don't really know what happens. I think you unlock new attachments every time you level your gun up. So I'm now level 7 with the gun. Just got my first bloodthirsty of Black Ops Beta. Got a UAV. And look, then my crossbow in the bottom corner is ready to use. Another very different feature this year is they can't throw grenades very well. I mean, that's hardly a throw of a grenade just there. So when the bomb gets planted, it's absolutely insane on this game mode. Oh my. Oh, I've got this crossbow. Let's try it. Got the crossbow again. There we go, there's a crossbow kill. Now trying out a bit of domination. They've changed this game mode as well. So the rounds, you can only get a maximum of a hundred points for your team. So, and you only get 50 points for the first flag, which is a bit bad. But this map is awesome. There's a massive thing you can swim all the way through. So you can swim through here. And you can kill people underwater like that. You start dying after a bit of time, so yeah, you gotta get out quick. Yeah, some of the maps are very easy to kill yourself. Like this bit here, on whatever map this is, I'm not sure what it's called. And there's another map which has quite stupid areas you can just fall down. About the wall running, there is another great spot to do it, just down here on this map. The last thing they've changed for Black Ops 3, because obviously they're made by different companies, Black Ops 3 and Apart Warfare, are there are no supply drops or that kind of thing. Enemy has Alpha. Requesting Hellstorm missile. 
that's the massive clunks of metal. I only got one kill that time, unfortunately. But I've seen someone get five kills with one before. And they are just one of the OP kill streaks. If the whole team has just spawned, you're pretty sure you're going to get like four kills. Capture the objectives. So, if you've enjoyed this Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta test on the Xbox One, my first impressions from what it's like, I think it's pretty good, and when the real game comes out, it's going to be a lot better. So I think, if you've got time to pre-order it and get the code, I highly recommend getting it. So make sure to like and subscribe if you don't want to miss more Call of Duty beta content coming out in the next few days. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video of beta gameplay. It's probably going to be tomorrow. Most likely going to be doing some gun reviews and to see if anything will change before the actual game comes out.